All right, your first question. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Ms. Leonard. Good afternoon. Would you please state your full name for the record? Beverly R. Leonard. Where are you testifying from? I'm testifying from my home in Arizona. Are you familiar with the defendant in this matter, Amber Heard? Yes, I am. And how are you familiar with her? I met her in 2009 at SeaTac International Airport. Why were you at the airport? I worked there. What happened when you met Ms. Heard in 2009? I was uh, in the baggage claim area and I observed her with a traveling companion and uh, they were, got into an altercation where um, Ms. Heard was, um, had grabbed her traveling companion and um, pulled something from her neck. At that point I got up and went over to try to break up what appeared to be a fight. Uh, and I uh, summoned a colleague to help me and I stepped in between them and separated them um, stopping any further uh, injuries or escalation. How would you describe the interaction between Ms. Hurd and her traveling companion? Uh, Ms. Hurd was aggressive towards her traveling companion and she had reached up and grabbed her arm and uh, pulled a necklace off of her. And, and, and then I uh, observed her having it in her hand. Um, she seemed to be um, not very steady on her feet. Uh, her eyes were blurry uh, and watery and I could smell alcohol. What was Ms. Hurd's traveling companion's reaction to being assaulted by Ms. Hurd? Objection, relevance. And I'll sustain the objection. On relevance? Yes. No. Okay. What did Ms. Hurd's traveling companion do? Uh, she raised her hands in what appeared to be a defensive um, manner. And, but other than that, she was pretty stoic and uh, didn't really respond much. Her stature it was uh, two or three inches taller than Ms. Hurd. So um, she, she, it didn't, uh, she didn't really need to have to uh, defend herself. <laughs> How would you describe Ms. Hurd's demeanor when you stepped in between Ms. Hurd and her traveling companion? Uh, she was somewhat dismissive. She just said, um, we're, we're just having an argument. We're fine, we're fine. Uh, because I was asking if, if they were okay. Are you okay? Um, is there anything wrong? What, you know, what's going on? Um, and objection was, hearsay. Just objection hearsay to what she's saying. All right. All right. I'll, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. What, if any, injuries did you observe on Miss Hurd's traveling companion? She had um, abrasion on the side of her neck where the necklace was, um, like a rope burn. Um, from the uh, chain as it was removed. How did you come to testify in this trial? I became aware of this situation, um, specifically this trial, um, because I was sent an email uh, anonymously. I don't even know who it came from. Um, asking... Objection, um, hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Understood. <clears throat> How would you generally describe Ms. Hurd's behavior on the occasion you met her in 2009? Objection, Your Honor. I already asked and answered the specifics. No, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Did Ms. Hurd's sexual orientation have any impact on how you conducted objection. yourself? I'll sustain the objection. Nothing further, Your Honor. All right. Any cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Cross-examination. Ms. Ms. Leonard, when did you uh, contact counsel for Mr. Depp? Late last night. Late last night. Okay. And this happened in 2009, correct? Yes. 13 years ago, correct? Yes. And you 
know that this trial is being televised, right? Yes. And so you know that if you have something that might be significant uh, to say, that that way you can get on television, right? No, I had no desire to be on television. Um, I actually waited for a call and uh, wondered why I hadn't been contacted. All right, but you... All right, we're going to cut that off quickly. Let me bring in my uh, uh, guest for this hour, criminal defense attorney, former prosecutor, David Bruno. He's standing by, still with me. Uh, David, once again, you know, it's just those little nicks that can turn out to end up being very big cuts that can bleed you out. Um, another witness coming in. But I, I really want to start off by asking you about the fact that these are witnesses. We saw two today. So another one, Morgan Tremaine, from the, the former TMZ employee earlier, who are contacting Depp's people. How does that look to a jury? Oh, it looks like we lost his audio. Okay, no problem at all. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have much, much more from inside that courtroom. So keep it right here on Court TV. Lapaplasty.com. Hello, and welcome back to Court TV Live. I'm Michael Ayala. On the stand right now is Beverly Leonard. Now, on direct examination, she had some interesting things to say about an event that took place back in 2009 at an airport in Seattle. Now, if you remember, when Amber Heard was on the stand, she basically downplayed this incident. She was arrested, but she said she was wrongly arrested. No big deal. Nothing really happened. Well, Beverly Leonard, who's an airport employee, tells a different story on direct, but she's now facing cross-examination. So let's get back into the court. In contact, you reached out and contacted them last night, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. I have no further questions. All right. Any redirect? Nothing further, Your Honor. All right. Thanks, Ms. Leonard. You're free to sign off. Thank you. All right. 